Hello everyone, today we have new video review with small kit from Chinese company called Flyhawk and I think you heard about this model, it's a Panzer Kapfwagen 1 uh, early version and quite an interesting feature is that this model is molded in 172nd scale so you can guess that it's quite tiny like this size and here we have short note that uh, kit includes also metal barrel and PE parts for such small model. So as you can see box itself is not that big, it's quite nice. Here you can see comparison with my hand so I can cover it with my whole palm let's say. We have this nice box art on the front side and we have some uh, small history note about the real tank on the back side and some safety information, uh, this, uh, codes, special codes, barcodes and etc. And then we have on the side some uh, technical information about the real tank and also here we have some other kits which are available from this model so this is side opening box but that's not that simple because inside we would find this sturdy box as you can see it's quite uh, let's say uh, durable so all inside contents should be intact nevertheless uh, manufacturer decided to ensure this with another solution and you would see it now. So here we have assembly manual but as you can see all parts are packed with foam uh, and it should be hard to move them, it should be hard to break them and it's quite a good idea I think. They are not packed into the plastic bag but they are packed into the foam which would ensure their let's say stability during shipment. So first let's check the thing which was lying on the top of the box and as you can see here it's assembly manual which is printed on glossy paper in color here we have small parts map and it's quite impressive amount of parts for 70 second scale model kit here we have some safety information some advices and then assembly process starts so as you can see there would be plenty of parts plenty of steps to do even separate link tracks and here we have painting guide as you can see painting marking guide is provided with color numbers given in Mr. Hobby and Tamiya uh, paint ranges and here we have two marking options available in this kit next we have plastic spruce as I said and these are quite impressive because uh, just give me a second to focus the camera for you and you would see, yes now you see it. So as you can see these tiny parts here you can see they can be placed on the tip of my finger. They are molded very carefully, very accurately I would say and here you can see quite impressive riveting on those uh, whole parts. Inside of course there is nothing just molding pins which would be easy to cut I think it won't be a great problem then we have a uh, separate sprue with <coughs> wheels road wheels and as you can see these are molded as one piece of course we have this uh, let's say quite unusual connectors but I hope it would be easy to remove them and to paint those one piece parts quite impressive detailization I would say then we have another small sprue which can be lifted only with a foam <laughs> so here you can see it small parts, very small parts, even hatches are molded separately some of the hatches so I guess you would be able to open it and maybe bring even more detailization to this model then we have hole which is packed into the foam too but as you can see it was supplied as this nice small assembly but of course this bottom part is separate as you can see and parts fitment is excellent I mean just give me a second to let's say assemble it here you can see the dry assembly and you don't see any seam any gap on this small tank and I think it's just glue it with a liquid glue from Tamiya and you are ready to go let's see then we have a small turret part which is also molded as a single piece part and it's quite impressive again 
I mean, I won't stop repeating this word because in this size it's really impressive because here you can place it on my tip of the fingertip and you can appreciate its size and its detailization, let's say. Next we have uh, small sprues which are packed as you can see in foam too. But first I want to check this uh, let's say separately packed model stand. Surprisingly the manufacturer decided to include this uh, cardboard stand which carries decal sheet and PE parts. Just give me a second to remove them from this tight bag because it's really hard to do. So here we have them. Uh, so here we have uh, PE parts. As you can see, PE thread contains plenty of various parts, even tools, the small small tools. Then we have metal barrels. They're quite tiny, but they're easy to notice. Then we have decals, which are printed by the manufacturer itself. And printing quality is quite impressive. And as I said, you can use uh, the other side of this cardboard as a model stand. Quite nice, too. Then we have small safety information. Information about the product. And as you can see, surprisingly, it's written in four different languages. We have here Russian, we have here uh, Spanish, also French and German, I guess. And here are more languages. Then, as I said, we have this another foam layer. I don't know why, but here sprues are a bit scattered let's say but uh, we have four no they are not similar but we have five small sprues which contain various tools I will show you one by one so here we have one first let's say okay yes now you see it. Here is first, second. As you can see, even tiny pieces are carefully molded as a one piece element, so you can guess the detailization should be really good. Here we have shovel and various tools, X for example, here. Again, nicely molded. And as a plastic sprue with tools. One more. With stolen brackets, let's say. And the last one with shovel and some other minor tools. Then we have very impressive thing for such small scale model. We have separate link tracks. So you can see them here. They are molded from the plastic I guess. Or maybe vinyl. No, it's a plastic. So you can hear it. So it's a plastic. So and detailization is quite nice. You can see it here. We have the separate links. And I guess in this scale it would be really good looking feature. So this is quite a package for 70 second scale model kit, but don't forget to check full review article on our website and as usual I would like to recommend you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group. Thank you for watching once again and see you soon.